Okay, so in this video, what we're going to talk about is how we can use the appearance uh, function within Illustrator to create um, editable types. So if we look at this this here, the, the two designs here, I'm just going to get rid of that effect on the top. I can actually type into these words. So I could change that to text. And it retains all the characteristics of the design that I've created, which is this sort of like outline, which is kind of offset with a drop shadow. And again, down here, I can change this to whatever I want. So, hello. Which makes it really useful for when you're creating designs and you want to use a typeface across a number of different assets within the design, rather than having to create them all individually um, and convert them to paths and then do all the styling to them each. You can actually create a style using appearance and then you can apply it to whatever text you want. So let's let's get into that and let's have a look and see how we do that. So I'm just going to start off by adding a new artboard. Um, so when I find where the oh, there, there. Uh, so I'm just going to add, add a new artboard and we'll we'll take them in turn and we'll I'll show you how to do them. But they're all both both basically the same. So we start off with some text. So let's just start off with um, some text and we'll change the font to a font that we like. So for this one I'm going to use DIN and we'll go for a narrow version. So we'll go for narrow bold. That means OK. And when we're working with appearance what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we get rid of the original appearance. So in the last video I showed you how to apply a gradient to text via making it an outline by type create outlines and then applying a gradient and then making it a compound path so that the gradient will flow across the text. But in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you to do that in live text. So let's just type in that text again. So if we were to try and apply a gradient to this, we, we know that it doesn't work. But what we do is we do it in the Appearance menu. So if we go to Appearance, which is this little icon, icon here, you'll see that if we click on the characters, you'll see that we've got a black fill and no stroke. Now what we need to do for a start is we need to get rid of the fill from the characters. And we're going to apply the effect to the text, to the type where it says no appearance at the moment. So type says no appearance, characters, black fill. And you notice we've got these boxes down here that are greyed out. These are the boxes we're going to use. So that's the outline and that's the fill. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to get rid of the fill completely. So at the moment, we can't see anything. There's no type at all there now. It's just invisible. But now what we're going to do is we're going to click on type. And now we can add properties to it. So I'm going to click on add new fill. Now you say well, it's just gone back to how it was before. Well, it has. But this time is, if you look, we can now select the gradient and it applies the gradient to the word. So I can go into that and I can type in new word. And it will still retain the properties from the appearance. So it's a really powerful way of working the appearance panel. And this is what we're going to use in this video, um, showing you how to create similar styles to this. So let's let's get back to how we were. So well, let's just go back to black for start. Um, and I'm going to think, OK, so if we look at this design here, so it's an orange text. So let's let's just change this to orange. And then we need an outline. So we'll get to the outline and we're going to select a dark blue from the outline so I can then change the thickness of it. But if you notice that this is offset, so the outline is not over the top of the, the actual character. So we're going to split those apart. So while the stroke selected, we go down to effects and we go to transform and then we change a position. So let's say two and two and see what happens there, which I'll previews on. So that's moving it that way. So let's say minus two, minus two, minus two. So let's say minus three, minus three. So that gives us our offset. 
So it's starting to look a little bit like the text we had here. The next thing we need is we need the little drop shadow. Now you could add a drop shadow, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do it a slightly different way. We're going to duplicate the fill. So we're going to drag the fill into the plus. So we've got two fills. We're going to change the color of that fill to the blue. Now we can't see it because the, the orange is in front of the blue. So the orange fill is on top of the blue fill. So we can't see it. If we turn this orange fill off, as long as we have the word selected, um, that happens all the time. Let's just do that again. Blue. If we turn the orange fill off, you'll see that the blue is there. It's just hidden behind the orange. So we need that to be separated as well. So we need to do the same thing again. So add a transform. So distort, transform. And this time we're going to say three and three. So we've now got our offset word similar to this. Now, this is all done in the tran in the appearance panel. But what if you if you wanted to save it? Well, to save this style, you simply create a graphic style of it, and you do that by just selecting the text that you've just created, and dragging it into the graphic style. And this is the graphic style. So now, if I if I want to change any text to that graphic style, I create the text, and then click on the graphic style. Now, because you can see here that it's not identical because these were metric movements. So I said two, three millimeters or three millimeters this way. So obviously if the text is smaller, you're gonna to have to go in and adjust it manually. So I can just go back to the appearance, go to the um, fill and the transform here. And let's just say, we'll say it down to two and two and we'll do the transform on the line to two, minus two, sorry, minus two, minus two. And let's just change the thickness of the line as well to make it a little bit thinner. So about that. So that's the good thing about um, the uh, using the appearance panel is that you can create styles, actual styles that you can then reuse. They only stay inside this document but at least they are there. Um, so that's that's just one way of creating some uh, some text. So that's that's that style done. Let's move across to this one. Let's let's have a look at this one in a bit more detail. So we just move that down there. So this one's slightly different. So let's get a different font. So we're going to start off with a font which is a script-based font. So let's go through our filter. So click on filter and we want script and we want to find a, a font. So let's go for a script, a font gelato looks, that's okay. And let's, let's just type in our word. So we'll go for yeah, yeah this time. Scale it up and just make sure your character space is set. So we'll just Optical is okay, it's 50, so let's just make that zero. That's okay. Maybe a little bit of space in between the A and the H. Let's just change that a little bit. Let's just bring that down a fraction. Let's say minus 10. That neatens that up a little bit. And there we go. So we've got the starting point, which is the, the text. Remember, we need to start off with the character. Double click. Remove the fill from the character. And then all the work that we're going to do is inside type. So start again. So add a fill. So this time it's going to be a light blue. We can change the colors later on if we want to. Um, and then we want an outline. So we're going to use what's called offset path. So we're going to do another version of that, which is going to be a darker blue. And then we're going to apply a an offset path, which is at the moment 3.5. Let's just go up a little bit. Let's go to four. Let's go to let's go to five. That's okay. The last little bit is the orange and the white. So let's duplicate that again. 
So we're going to du duplicate the the blue. We're going to change that to orange. And again, we can't see it because it's below the blue. It's there, but we just can't see it. And then we're going to apply a transform on this. And we're going to move it a little bit. So let's just move this one millimeter. That's OK. So that gives us our orange, that little bit, that little sort of like glow around the edge. And then the final bit is the, the white around the entire side. So that's probably better to be this blue position. Um, so let's just duplicate that blue one again. Drag that below the orange. We're going to fill that into white. And then we're going to do a path, offset path again. Oh, there's, there's already one on there, so we can just add that one to that. So add the offset path because we duplicated the blue, which was already an offset path. So now we're going to increase that. Now we can't really see because it's on a white background. So if I was to change that color just so we can see it, let's go to yellow. We can see what it's doing. So we've probably gone a little bit too far with that. So we'll just go back to offset path and reduce it down a little bit. Let's go for seven, maybe eight. There we go. So then we can then take that back to white. And then if we get a nice color, so let's go for a nice pink and we're just going to select it from here. The reason why it's doing that is because there's something in the front of that. Let's change that to pink and then send that to back. So object, arrange, center back and that gives us our text now the last thing is that this is on a, a slant so to do that we simply select the text not the background and we can go to our skew tool or shear position our shear point to the edge and then just lift our text up and shear it that way so that gives us a a little bit of a an effect like that and again if we want to save that style we can literally just drag that into our graphic styles and should we want to create another one of those we can type in some new text some new text and again because the size of the text is important we'll need to scale this up a little bit to get it something, let's get rid of some, and we'll just have a new. Let's just go back to hello. We'll just have hello instead, because it'll be smaller. Okay, so we can scale it up, roughly about the same size, and we can go to our appearance, go to graphic styles, and select the option that we've created. And there we will have our text. And again, if we move that pink behind it, you'll see it's got the white line around it. So I hope that was useful. So that's different ways of creating type, but using the appearance instead of sort of like a character palette and things like that. It retains the type as live text, it enables us to create styles that we can reuse. And overall, it's a really useful tool when we're creating uh, elements for design assets. And I'll see you in the next video.